Okay, hello. My name is Chan Hyun Kim or CH Kim. You can call me CH or CH Kim. Okay. I did my bachelor's in Korea University and I did a master degree here in Seoul National University uh, for three years in, uh, from uh, 1991. And oh. I retired from bank, KB Kungmin Bank a few years ago and uh, I uh, started uh, uh, this tour guide job. But when I was in the, uh, in the Kungmin Bank, I was in IR department and uh, learning center where I did some tour related jobs. I am pleased to show this uh, SN, I mean SNU campus today. Uh, let's start with the main gate. Mm -hmm. Let me switch the camera. Okay. okay. Can so can you see the shape of the main gate? Uh, yeah. In Korean letter, it is uh, pronounced as SHA. That's the acronym of uh, Seoul National University in Korean language. Okay. Okay, now I'm entering into the Hwana campus. Mm -hmm. Can you see the mountain, mountain in the back? The name of the mountain is a Kwanakstan. Kwanak, this is a Kwanak campus. So, so the name of the campus is uh, from this uh, mountain, Kwanakstan. And uh, there are about 260 buildings here. So today I cannot show you all the campus. So I'm sh I'll show you the key facilities and the colleges in this uh, uh, SNU Guana campus. It will take about 50 minutes and uh, about 2.2 kilometers. Okay. And uh, I walk slowly. You can talk or you can use a chatting function anytime you want. I'll address that on the spot where I cover at the end of the presentation in Q&A session. Can you hear well? Yes, we can yes. hear well, CH. And uh, what we will be doing is we will be posing as the clients and we will be asking you a lot of questions during the session as well. Okay, no problem. But okay. sometimes I have to skip and I'll cover those questions uh, at the end of the presentation, though. Okay. okay, now let me uh, use this uh, zoom in and zoom out. I want to zoom in this uh, radar site on the mountain. Can you see where the round uh, radar site over there? That's, that's for the military, so I mean, purpose. Okay. okay, the first building I want to show you today is this uh, art gallery. This art gallery was uh, donated by Samsung Foundation of Culture and designed by Mr. Rem Kolhas, Dutch architect and professor of architect in Harvard University. He also designed the Samsung Museum of Art. The name of the art gallery is uh, Li Ung. And this, uh, if you see the whole picture, it looks like a spaceship floating in the space. And uh, there are no pillars inside. That means that zigzag, iron bar, the outward support to hold the build, building. And uh, they display various exhibitions every two or three months. And the uh, gallery or exhibition or is uh, uh, on the third floor. If you live in India or UK, they call second floor. No? Yes. And now, I am heading to the College of Business Administration where I did my MBA. 
before that, let me check my left hand side. Small crocodile and the other artifacts displayed in the public. All right. Can you hear me well? Yes. Uh, and though Samsung, this art, this art gallery. Uh, is, yes. Do students also have access to it? Yes, yes, but they have a small entrance fee though. The mm -hmm. adult is a 3,000 one, it, uh, which is around $3 and uh, children about $2. Okay. Okay. There are a lot of uh, cars parking around and inside the college because this is a very big uh, area. And my left hand side, there is a office of admission here. Ah, okay. Okay, I mean the, the behind the pine trees. And I am heading to the College of uh, Business Administration. The building number is uh, 58 uh, because there are more than 260 buildings, they use the number. But about 30 years ago, when I started here, I think the number of the buildings were just a half of these 260. So a lot of uh, buildings are still under construction and uh, they are donating buildings and the programs here. How do the students commute around the campus? Yes, uh, there are several kinds of uh, shuttle bus. Shuttle bus just uh, going around and inside the campus only. And the shuttle bus from a uh, nearby subway station to the school. And the public bus also running out, of, out and in this campus. Okay, but do students typically have use a, I mean, a car or to, do they use a cycles? How do they commute otherwise other than the... Yeah, everything. Some people, uh, I mean, the graduate student uh, have uh, cars and undergraduate use bus like this. This is a public bus, 5511, and uh, shuttle bus also. And uh, many other transportation nearby is a subway and the buses, the public transportation system is very well in Korea. So they use uh, public basically and the uh, professors and graduate students use the cars and other transportation. Here my left hand side is the center, I mean CJ International Center, the pine tree. Let me show you the logo of a CJ here. CJ International Center. There are some uh, education center and buildings behind this and uh, that's uh, international, I mean, Office of International Affairs. Okay, now I'm crossing the world. I mean, the road, what, uh, watching cars. And this uh, uh, building is uh, called the SK Business Administration Hall. SK Company is one of the large business group in Korea. SK Group has about uh, 125 companies under its umbrella. So this is a big uh, business group in Korea. I think uh, number three after Samsung Group okay. and uh, LG, I think, but the uh, order is uh, changing. And uh, I studied in this uh, business administration a building and I used to take a walk uh, from here to this uh, main field direction where I can enjoy the mountain view here and uh, you, you can see the 
main stadium and uh, soccer field. Soccer field which uh, complies with the FIFA standard. So this is a, a large complex. Okay, can you see some people doing American football now there? I mean, I think they are student club, one of the student clubs here. Uh, so that was the business department we just passed, CH? Yes, I just uh, passed the, the college of this one, college of business administration. Okay, now Where I got a have... master's degree. Excellent. Yes. So uh, how many students, uh, how many foreign students typically are there in this? I mean, what is the percentage of locals to foreign students? I, I don't have the number now, so I need to check the website again. But not that many uh, foreign, the, the, I think uh, less than 20%, I think. Okay. But, and then here again, can you see the circle in the middle? Uh, there is a, a main gate, the shape of main gate inside the circle in the middle. That's the symbol of uh, Seoul National University with the school motto, Veritas Lux Mia, which means uh, truth is my light. Okay. Okay, and here, uh, the mountain views, very beautiful. I'll show you slowly, you know. I cut the Wi-Fi and I hope there's no uh, cut, cutting or stoppage here. Uh, the building number, 222 there is a college of human ecology where they study consumer science and food and nutrition or, or that kind of uh, subject. Okay, CH two things. Uh, yes. Uh, do not use Wi-Fi, please, at all. Do not use Wi-Fi of the college. Use only mobile data. because wi Okay, that's what I'm doing now. Okay, because, you know, I experienced the, the stoppage, so I just, you know, uh, turn off the Wi-Fi. This building, number six, I mean, number 16, the pink one, is a college of uh, social science, where they study uh, political science, international relations, economics, and social welfare and so on. The former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, he graduated from this college in 1970, I think. And uh, my left hand side here is the museum of the SNU, which has uh, three permanent display facilities such as uh, archaeological uh, history and traditional gallery and anthropological folk customs and natural history. Okay, and uh, this is... Which is the, where do they stay? Which is the residential area for these students? Our residential area is uh, uh, way back from here. So. Today, it is very difficult because this is a very large uh, campus, but you can uh, see the website. Uh, if you check website, you can see the, the dormitories and the many, many apartment like uh, buildings there. Mm -hmm. So here, the, the number of students uh, is like uh, 31,000 and faculty member around 5,500. So many, many dormit dormitories are in the, in the backside. Okay, but so in this uh, museum, they have uh, free access for the student and the local residents. And uh, we will check the student center later on. 
Yes. Okay. So what is the where now, is the, uh, CH? Now. Where is the closest um, um, uh, you know hospital? Or where is the closest ER and the closest markets? Those are the things we're looking at. Okay, those facilities are inside the student center in the center of the, uh, I mean, the center of this campus. But the bigger ones are here about you know, 10 kilometers. There, there are small uh, hospitals. Actually, SNU hospital is in central Seoul city which is around uh, 20 kilometers, but many other small and large hospitals here. And, but the backside of this campus, there is a dental hospital and the animal hospital. No, and, so if, uh, uh, if there is a student, a foreign student who is studying here and uh, they need health care, which is the closest? Uh, here, as I said, the health service center is in the student center inside the campus and the many other uh, hospitals and the other facilities are very nearby. Silimdong, I mean, nearby, just like about uh, two or three kilometers uh, away from this campus. There are many, many uh, facilities like uh, uh, shopping centers and uh, health clinic, hospital, whatever. And this is a multimedia lecture hall. And uh, now I'm Sorry to interrupt you, CH. Uh, I want to ask that as you were saying, uh, the campus is uh, like uh, very well uh, ha having a facility of hospital. Uh, so what is like, uh, is it a free charge hospital to the students who are like studying or do the students have to pay as a, any prescription fees or a, to visit a doctor? Uh, basically inside the campus, they have a free service, but the service is uh, limited because the uh, size is very small. But uh, if you visit uh, the public health center, which is uh, run by the uh, municipality or city of Seoul, there are some free uh, services, but the services are limited in terms of the quality or waiting time. So I think students should have a uh, medical insurance like uh, you do in US or other countries. And this one is the College of Fine Arts heading to student center now, but on the way I'll show you these buildings. Here, building number 17 is for <coughs> College of Law. Okay. So overall, um, what is the typical language spoken, uh, you know, anywhere? Is it, is it English or is it still Korean? Uh, what are the language barriers faced by a foreign student? Uh, here in, inside the SNU, you can speak English because these students are the best or excellent students from Korea and from all over the world. But outside the campus, the main language is Korean. And uh, English is uh, widely spoken, but limited because uh, some college educated people uh, are limited here. So the language barrier is uh, still here. It's not like India. In India, I think uh, in city area, if you use English, no problem. But here in Korea, still there is a limitation and uh, we have uh, some uh, language barrier, but it is uh, getting better nowadays. The world is uh, one now. And this 
Left hand side, 55 and 54 is a college of uh, music here. They have all the equipment and uh, auditorium. And so this uh, new one, yes, please. The dorms are very close. The students can just walk over from the dorms to the to these places. Uh, yeah, they can walk, but it's not uh, uh, close. It's uh, about 10 minutes or 20 minutes uh, uh, walk because the dormitory itself is very large area. Because, uh, you know, some uh, dormitory for faculty members are nearby, but for the students, it's a little bit uh, far away from the campus. So uh, students need to work a lot. And, but many students also live outside, just like me about 30 years ago. I lived in Silimdong area, just about one kilometer away from the main gate. Okay, then this is also again the SNU Law College building. Let me show you the school motto, Veritas Luxemia, which means uh, truth is my light. And uh, can you see the, the shape of the main gate? Okay, now here is the beautiful building is art complex used by students of the fine art and the music and the one cafeteria on the underground on or ground floor here cafeteria student uh, uh, cafeteria and student cafeteria meals are decent and the price is very low, just one dollar, because the college itself support the student meal. So, just one thousand, uh, one thousand one or one dollar per meal for SNU student only. Okay, this is the SNU Law Alumni Hall, which is around the building, and the left hand side also. These buildings are used for the law school student, law school library, and uh, left hand side again, the art complex. This beautiful building is a proper building for the artist. And the pine trees and other trees are very beautiful here. And the building itself is designed beautifully. If you see again here, this uh, new building. And now I am approaching to the center of the campus. And this uh, yellow building is a culture hall. Uh, two buildings are connected and there is a large auditorium where I watched the foreign movies about 30 years ago, I remember. And again, my left hand side is a restaurant, Jahayan a Korean restaurant and the Western restaurant. And uh, on the ground floor, there is a Nongya Bank branch here. And the backside, the Wuri Bank branch also here. So this uh, campus is very large. So many bank branches are inside. Okay, now we are approaching the most visited area, uh, Chahayan Pond. This is a very small pond, but extremely beautiful in the fall, in the autumn, the autumn leaves are very beautiful. And uh, the name is a Chahayan. He is a Chaha Shinhui, 
is a 19th century poet and calligrapher and a painter. He often visited this uh, beautiful small pond. And uh, again, you are watching the culture hall again. And the next building is the head office or administration building where the school president room is there. And uh, scholarships and uh, student records are available here in this building with uh, many small windows. Can you see well and hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, we can okay. see. Can hear you okay. Well. I think the Wi-Fi was the problem because I experienced the stoppage, but uh, after uh, turning off the Wi-Fi, yeah. I don't experience any stoppage in here. That's why we and this, uh, uh, Yes, please. Oh, I'm just saying that's why we advise you to uh, use mobile data while visiting. Yes, I'm. that's what I'm doing now. Okay, this is uh, one viewpoint area also. Here, there are some uh, beautiful trees and uh, small grass ground. They call this uh, small uh, grass ground uh, president, school president grass here the, inside the, I mean, in front of the administration building. And uh, you can see the beautiful scenery of Kwanaksan Mountain. And uh, there, can you see the yellow building? Yes. And uh, there's a traditional Korean style traditional building, which is a gray color. And that's a old uh, library. Okay, so which the architecture is like a Korean style architecture of this building. Yes, we call the Hanok style. Korean style building, the, the, the building behind the 73 culture hall uh, that keep the national treasure of honors of uh, Joseon dynasty for the 472 years, okay. like a 50 million character you know, books, like a thousand thousand books for the record of the king of the Joseon dynasty for about 500 years from the first king Tezo to 70, I mean 25th king uh, Chelchong. Okay, now you are looking at the student center. On the top floor, there are uh, student club officers rooms there. And the underground the cafe, cafeteria, student cafeteria, they serve the decent meal with just one dollar. Uh, how is the food for vegetarians? Do we get choices for vegetarians? Vegetarians, uh, that's very tricky here because everybody eats everything here. But if you insist on vegetarian food, you can say to the cook, that uh, remove egg if you don't like egg or meat, that kind of a thing could be done. And there are some Indian restaurants or vegetarian restaurants, but that's uh, limited because uh, most of uh, Koreans eat, you know, uh, everything. And, in, uh, in, in Hindi, they say Mangsahari, I think. Yeah. Yes, they do. Um, so, <laughs> oh, yeah. um, so CH, uh, so if, I am, if I'm a vegetarian student, uh, yes. then can I cook in the dorm? Can I cook my own food in the dorm? Uh, yes, uh, 
many, I mean, I think uh, the, I mean, the, for the dormitory, undergraduate dormitory, they have a student restaurant, uh, but the, the, the graduate students, they have a, a just apartment like a dormitory. So the cooking is limited for the undergraduate students. So in this case, you need to find uh, rooms outside. Oh. Like, uh, that's uh, uh, not that expensive, but I think around $300 to $400 per month. Okay. And uh, what, if, um, what if I um, want to do a job here in Seoul to supplement uh, my income? I think the school itself uh, have uh, some uh, kind of uh, uh, part-time jobs in the, uh, like uh, whatever, in library and uh, some, in this student center, there are book, bookstores like uh, Shinam Bank and the souvenir shop. And uh, some of the stores inside the student or hall, I mean, center, they employ, I mean, they hire students and uh, some post office, but that's limited. But uh, many students can teach English to, uh, for the middle school or high school students. That's the uh, one option. Okay. And uh, let's find out how well they can, you know, earn the income. Okay, this uh, area, open area is called Acropolis, named after the Acropolis of the Greek city-state. A thousand of uh, students gathered here for the passion for the democracy in 1980s and early 90s here. Again, this area is uh, called uh, Acropolis. And uh, here, all the building is the main library. I remember I spent a lot of time here reading English newspaper in early 90s. So is and it the open building for our, is the is the and is the library open all the time? Not all of them. Some part of the library open twenty four hours. Mm -hmm. Some part are not. And the new library in the back. These are all the new buildings are connected to each other. And the new buildings are built by the donation of uh, Gwanjung Yi Jong Han, who is the founder of a Samyong business group. And he donated about 60% of the expense and the many, many students, faculty members, employees donated for the building, this new library. And the total cost was uh, around 90, million US dollar. And this is a very large facility uh, from this end to the left end is around 150 meters, very large one. And they use trust structure to connect two buildings, old one and new one. Um, now, how old are these, uh, is the other buildings? The other buildings like this, all the ones are built in 1975 when the most of the college moved from central Seoul to this uh, South Seoul area. So that's uh, 75, that's uh, 45 years old, but some renovation is uh, undergoing all the time. Here is the Health Service Center in inside the Student Center and the Seoul yeah. National University Health Service Center. And here is the 
ambulance. Okay. Let so, me. Um, uh, CH, I yes. have a question for you. Do, do you think yes. the tour would be better uh, done if you drive around and then stop at a few places and show the places? Would it be better to do the tour like that? That's one option. Uh, here in Seoul National University, they use uh, three uh, campus tour. One is the uh, car tour. I mean the drive tour, yeah, where you can watch the all all the beautiful uh, buildings and everything. But uh, this tour is a walking tour today. Mm -hmm. But maybe next time I or uh, other tour guide can show you the drive course also. Mm -hmm. In um, in that tour, you can see the dormitories. Dormitories are very big, so I can uh, run around the dormitories. Okay, but and uh, I I yes. don't know if uh, you I don't know if you're around, but just to um, emphasize, um, uh, ch the purpose of this tour is is. Well, show us the campus and it's a beautiful campus, but more so to give insights as an ex-student yourself into what life right. over here would be like. So that is why yes. we're asking you questions such as, you know, what is the medical facility? Can we do part-time jobs? How do we cook our food? Um, you know, what do the dorms look like? Uh, those type of uh, questions which are more, uh, more relevant. What is the language uh, barrier? how uh, once I finish my education at the university yes. uh, and I look at getting a job over here or is it going to be yes. difficult because I don't speak Korean. So, uh, oh, these, right. yeah, right. these are we are looking at more of, you know, you being the friend, you, you like being the friend who gives true, honest yes. advice on what it is going to be like if you're, if we're studying at this university. Now, if I, yes, say, yes, I understand that, but, you can get the information from the website of the uh, Seoul National University, though, because they have uh, the research people here who, who are responsible for that kind of a q and a in the Office of International Office. I'm just a tour guide and uh, in individual, so yeah. maybe my research and my answer is uh, not that uh, excellent in comparison with uh, those uh, the uh, expert in this area. So if you, I strongly recommend the first check, check up the website of the Seoul National University. I did in, uh, CH, we, we had a look at yes. the website. What we are looking at is a human um, uh, you know, human interface where somebody will tell us their own opinions. So, okay. you, so more in terms of what you think is the real situation uh, in in Seoul. So, you know, obviously the uh, university has its own information, but what is the kind of um, um, uh, you know? So, how many foreign students are there? How welcome are you? Yeah. What is the largest population of foreign students? Um, yeah. I, I will even, uh, so you will need to do a little bit of research. Uh, yes, I can do that, no problem. Yeah, well, I can see, if I look at the website, I can see that 7% of all the students are foreigners. Now, 7% yes. is what? Which foreigners? Where are the foreigners from Japan or uh, India or Singapore or where are the foreigners from? And suppose I have, I'm an Indian who's looking to study over here and I ask you, yes. okay, you know, CH, where can I buy my Indian spices in Seoul? You, yes. we, we would be looking to you for admission, for, for um, advice as a friend, more as a local. All right, no problem. Because uh, I, I lived in four years in India. Mm. I feel like, uh, you know, just uh, my homeboys or friends mm. when I see Indians here. I just uh, saw several Indian uh, looking students here. 
Okay. But the statistics are from the college, not from me. But I'll try to get that kind of information. Okay. Okay. Okay, now this area is a college of a pharmacy. So the pharmaceutical institute and the labs are here. And my right hand side is a college of natural science. Okay. So your target thing, I mean, your target is uh, Indian student, mainly who are Southeast Asian or South Asian uh, student. Our target is global students. Our target is anywhere, global, yeah, yeah. anywhere in the world. Uh, there is a lot of interest for, for South Korea. The place right. where I stay, um, the you know, my neighbors, they have sent their daughter to study at SNU. She's studying over there right now. Okay. Uh, so, and a lot of uh, the U, uh, the Americans are very interested in uh, coming to Korea for an education. So we see an interest in, uh, a very big interest in Korea. Right. Uh, I understand that because... Uh, now, for example, uh, this... if it's an American, the Americans will, uh, you know, may ask you, um, what is the party scene over there? I mean, how, what is the nightlife like over there? And uh, they may ask, right. you know, there may be some Indian parents who will ask you, how safe is it? Right? right. So the Safety is a guarantee that in Korea. I think, you know, it's not like uh, US or other countries because the guns and uh, the, I mean, the guns are prohibited, strictly prohibited here. And Japan and Korea uh, are very safe. They can wear a very short pants uh, at night in the city, or whatever. I mean, the safety is the best in the world, I think. Uh, but the language barrier, there is some language barrier. But if, and you see the foreigners, I Caucasian over there. So many, uh, students from foreign countries. So if you say 7%, then the 7% multiplied by 31. 31,000? 2,000, yeah. That's a, that lot. Kind of, That's a lot of students. Yes, and the here and dormitories also, uh, are, there are some part of dorm dormitory for, for, for foreigners. Mm -hmm. And, but the space, uh, Space is limited, I think. So you have two options. One inside the campus dormitory and the outside the living. If you live outside, maybe you can have a homestay and teaching English to uh, children. I myself, I have two children who study in the other cities now, uh, one is studying Korean medicine and one is studying uh, education. So they are in colleges, so I can communicate with my children also about some foreign students' life. And, uh, but I need some research because, you know, uh, I'm a different generation, but if you, today I just know your uh, target clearly, so yeah. I, I can do some understood. research work. Yeah, I think you've understood what we're looking for. Um, basically, yes. uh, like, you know, even if, say, you're now you're telling us that there is a huge language barrier. Uh, if there is a huge language barrier, does the university support the foreign students in a crash course in Korean? Do they have any courses for the students so that they can learn Korean is, you know, in one of those fast courses where they can learn the basic words and the essential words to get them by? Yes, uh, SNU and the Korea University and Yonsei University, they have uh, uh, the uh, arrangement for the foreign students for the language purpose okay. and uh, some, some 
college require advanced uh, uh, language course. And uh, I think, but if you live in the campus, no problem. If you live outside, if you can uh, carefully watch the signage like this, as, uh, if you are good at English, then uh, no problem, you can leave, but with uh, some limitation. Okay, so I heard that, I mean, uh, you and the other employees are also here on the Zoom now? Yes. Yes. Uh, all of them from? From Singapore or? No. I'm dialing from like India, New Delhi. Oh, New Delhi. I lived in New Delhi one year there. Just uh, IIT, IIT Kesamne. <laughs> yes. Our okay, I live there. Our office is there, IIT, uh, in front of IIT. Our office is in Hoskars. Oh, I lived in the SDA area. Yeah. Uh, near Rose Garden. Yes, yes, we know the uh, area. That's very close. Oh, to yeah. okay. Yeah. That was the uh, year 2007 and eight. I stayed there 13 months for studying Hindi and uh, Indian economy and uh, banking. Yeah. And I had uh, some friends and I have some class in JNU uh, with the JNU professors from the economics Very patent. <laughs> yes. Did you enjoy this your one is uh, the end of, uh, we are near the end of the uh, campus tour, including this is a uh, college of engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can talk, I mean, talk about other things after my presentation. Mm -hmm. And uh, what time is it? Uh, time, I think about 50 minutes past. But I can have a discussion with you with this Zoom and you can email me. Okay. Uh, so please uh, give me your questions. Then uh, I'll try to answer the question as I'll do some research work about the foreign student life in SNU, mm -hmm. inside the campus and outside the campus, and uh, whether there is a income source or any other life in Korea. This uh, mountain is very beautiful and uh, I used to climb this mountain from the main gate to the around the uh, uh, ridge of the mountain and uh, the right to the radar south, uh, site. That's a beautiful area. And uh, here in this uh, college of engineering, uh, I can see over there, the uh, startup labs here. Actually, my children, they learn English from Indian girl whose name was Chitali Gupta, <laughs> the daughter of uh, the employee of uh, Indian embassy. Uh, that was about, uh, 12 or 13 years ago. Okay. Here, my left hand side is a university newspaper and the building, red color buildings are, uh, that's uh, the College of Agriculture and Life Science. Okay, now I am reaching to the startup lab here. So I'll go in inside and uh, let's have a Q&A session. Okay.